Hello everyone, welcome back and you are watching DMG Chemistry Classes. And in this video, I am continuing my discussion on the comparison between reversible isothermal expansion of an ideal gas and adiabatic reversible expansion. And in my previous video, I told you that for an isothermal exp uh, expansion, we have PV is equal to constant. And that this is equation number one. And its differential will be PdV plus Vdp is equal to zero. Let this P is the first function and V is the second function. Then the first function into differential of second function plus second function into differential of first function and equal to zero because differential of a constant is equal to zero. And from this equation we have Vdp is equal to minus PdV. And further we have dp upon dv is equal to minus p upon v. And this dp upon dv gives us the slope of the isothermal curve. Okay, so the slope of isothermal curve AB will be equal to minus p upon v. So let this is equation number 2. And for an adiabatic ex uh, expansion we have PV gamma is equal to constant. And this is equation number 3 and its differential and for writing its differential let this p is again function 1 and this is function 2 okay so that is first first function p into differential of second function that is v raised to power gamma and the differential of v raised to power gamma will be equal to gamma v raised to power gamma minus 1 into dv okay plus second function that is v raised to power gamma into differential of first function that is dp and is equal to 0 okay and from this equation we have v raised to power gamma dp is equal to minus gamma p into v raised to power gamma minus 1 dv and further after rearranging we will be having dp upon dv is equal to minus gamma p into v raised to power gamma minus 1 divided by v raised to power gamma and this v raised to power gamma minus 1 divided by v raised to power gamma will be equal to 1 upon v. And I have shown it here that v raised to power gamma minus 1 divided by v raised to power gamma it is equal to v raised to power gamma minus 1 minus gamma. And it will be equal to v raised to power minus 1 and it is equal to 1 upon v. Okay, because here bases are same and we have division in between so the powers will be subtracted. So that's why here we have dp upon dv is equal to minus gamma into p upon v. And in this case, this dp upon dv is giving us the slope of adiabatic curve AC. Understood? So, the slope of, slope of adiabatic curve, slope of, adiabatic curve AC is equal to minus gamma into P upon V and let this is equation number 3 okay now what we will do we will divide equation number 3 by equation number 2 okay then we have slope of adiabatic curve AC divided by slope of isothermal curve AB and it will be equal to slope of adiabatic curve is equal to minus gamma into P upon V and from here slope of isothermal curve is minus p upon v so, so we have uh, this is equal to gamma okay and from let like, this is equation number four and from this equation number four we have that slope of slope of adiabatic curve ac is equal to gamma times slope of isothermal curve AB okay 
action thermal curve a b and i told you in my previous video that the value of this gamma is always greater than 1 and when this gamma is greater than 1 this means that slope of adiabatic curve ac will be more than the slope of isothermal curve ab or we can also uh, say it like this that the slope of isothermal curve will be less than the slope of adiabatic curve and let us understand it further it has lot of significance okay suppose that this line is representing uh, your uh, adiabatic curve this is your adiabatic curve or this this is your adiabatic curve or any curve which is having less slope than this curve will be above it in this way okay and any curve which is having more slope than this curve will be below it in this manner understood so here as i told you that slope of isothermal curve is less than the adiabatic curve so the isothermal curve will be above this curve understood so this is the case here the isothermal curve ab which is having less slope is above the adiabatic curve AC which is having more slope understood and when this AB isothermal curve is above than adiabatic curve then the area under this curve will be more as compared to adiabatic curve so what is the area area under the isothermal curve AB is equal to AB ABDE so this is the area under isothermal curve and what is the area under adiabatic curve it is AC AC DE so you can clearly see that area under isothermal curve is more than the area under adiabatic curve and why what amount it is more by an area equal to ABC and I also discussed with you that area under this any curve in PV diagrams tells us about the amount of work done and as the area under the isothermal curve is more so we will be having more work done un, uh, under reversible isothermal expansion and less work will be done in case of adiabatic reversible expansion of an ideal gas understood so uh, we have proved it mathematically so I hope that you might have understood and you have enjoyed today's video and if you have enjoyed it then please do subscribe my channel and also like and share my videos. Thank you for watching.